knife-wielding man attacked a kindergarten class of four-year-olds in eastern China, slashing 28 children in what an expert said was a copycat rampage of two other episodes at Chinese schools in the past month. A 47-year-old jobless man burst into a classroom at the kindergarten, waving an eight-inch knife and stabbing a security guard who tried to stop him. Although exact details regarding the attack were scarce, it is believed five students were in critical condition and two teachers and the security guard were injured. Many family members faced an agonizing wait until details of their own children's welfare became apparent. I don't know what I can do because the hospital cannot give me any accurate information about my grandson. I hope he can make it, but the hospital refuses to tell me whether he's out of life-threatening danger. They don't want us to know the truth. A crowd gathered outside the kindergarten and in the hospital where some of the children were being treated. An eyewitness to the attack, who owns a restaurant next door to the kindergarten, said the scene he found was too horrible to imagine. I saw blood everywhere and kids bleeding from their heads. Some of them could not open their eyes because of the blood. It was very horrible. A series of school attacks in China in recent years have mostly been blamed on people with personal grudges or suffering from mental illness, leading to calls for improved security. China's inadequate mental health network has left millions of unstable people without the help they need. Many otherwise healthy Chinese also feel frustrated and powerless because they aren't able to adapt to the constant social upheaval in their society and because they believe the changes in their world favour the corrupt.